Hello friends, today I will continue my chapter which is on lipid. In lipid I will teach you about prostaglandin, biosynthesis of prostaglandins, prostacycline, thromboxane, leukotrienes. So what is prostaglandins? So prostaglandins are also lipids. These were isolated from prostate gland that's why it was called prostaglandins. But it is present all over the body. And what is its physiological responses? It causes inflammation, blood pressure, blood coating, fever, pain, induction of labor, and sleep wake cycle. Regarding structure of prostaglandin, you will see there is a pentacyclic ring and there is a chain which contains carboxylic group at terminal position. So this change is, chain is about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So this is 7 carbon chain. And another chain is 8 carbon. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this is the basic structure of prostaglandin. So we represent prostaglandin with formula PGX. X designate the functional group present on this cyclic ring for example pga pgb and pgc they contain carbonyl group with double bond so you can see in pga the double bond is on left side in pgb double bond is on right side and pgc is on the bottom side so they contain carbonyl group with double bond so pgd PGE1 and PGE2 they contain beta hydroxy ketones so this is ketone this is alpha position and this is beta position so at beta position they contain hydroxy so these are beta hydroxy ketone here you can see one one represent presence of number of double bond so here only one double bond is present so that is why this subscript one is used here you can see there is a 2 so it represents 2 double bonds are present one here and another is here so subscript 2 is used here now there is PGF2 alpha PGF2 alpha contain 1, 2, 3, 1, 3 diol 2 represent number of double bond 1 and 2 and alpha represent these 2 hydroxyl group are in cis conformation if they are trans then this alpha will become beta so alpha and beta represent cis and trans position of these two hydroxyl group now we will study biosynthesis of prostaglandins the main enzyme involved in synthesis of prostaglandins is prostaglandin endoperoxide synthase it performs two kind of activities one is cyclooxygenase activity its main role is formation of cyclic ring and other is hydroperoxidase activity so biosynthesis of prostaglandin th thromboxane and prostacycline start from arachidonic acid so this arachidonic acid biosynthesis start from linoleic acid this is a fatty acid which you required in your diet because our body cannot form this linoleic acid so this arachidonic acid is a omega-6 fatty acid okay why it is omega-6 because you have to count it from here 1 2 3 4 5 6 at 6 position there is a double bond that is why this is omega-6 fatty acid now cyclooxygenase will work on this means your arachidonic acid will bind on cyclooxygenase you can see these two flag hydrogen so one of the flag hydrogen will remove it will give you radical here now this radical will react on this peroxide so now it will give you peroxide radical now this peroxide radical will rearrange and abstract one more hydrogen and it will form this cyclic ring and this cyclic ring contain OOH group so now your hydroperoxidase activity will start and it will convert this OOH group into OH group okay 
this is your pg h2 prostaglandin h2 this is the precursor for various type of prostaglandins it will also synthesize thromboxane and also prostacycline so prostaglandins i already told you it has various physiological function aspirin is the inhibitor of prostaglandins and we know why we use aspirin and how it work it perform acetylation of cyclooxygenase enzyme now cyclooxygenase enzyme will get acetylate and it will not perform synthesis of prostaglandin there is non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs we know these also inhibit prostaglandin synthesis so how it inhibit prostaglandin synthesis so we know that arachidonic acid bind on cyclooxygenase enzyme from there prostaglandin biosynthesis start but this non steroidal anti inflammatory drug will bind on cyclooxygenase enzyme and it prevent binding of arachidonic acid on cyclooxygenase enzyme so by this way they perform inhibitory activity and uh, from prostaglandin h2 thromboxane formations occur so this is the structure of thromboxane and thromboxane perform vasoconstriction means it con constrict your blood vessels and also stimulate platelet aggregation and there is prostacycline it also synthesize from pgs2 so prostacycline role is just opposite to thromboxane activity so it perform vasodilation thromboxane was performing vasoconstriction prostacycline inhibit platelet aggregation thromboxane stimulate platelet aggregation so both activities are opposite to each other so they maintain the balance of human body leukotriene leukotriene synthesis also happen from arachidonic acid so this is arachidonic acid and this is the structure of leukotriene so its biosynthesis also start from arachidonic acid and leukotriene perform contraction of muscle and it contract your lungs also and it perform several allergic inflammatory reaction and also sometime cause heart attack so leukotriene also bring about symptom of asthma and contribute in the onset of anaphylactic shock which is very fatal allergic reaction so now we know that prostaglandins prostacycline thromboxane and, and leukotriene their biosynthesis start from arachidonic acid and these compounds are called eicosanoids because they contain 20 carbon in their structure and they contain at least one oxygen so 20 carbon plus at least one oxygen these compounds are called eicosanoids and if oxygen are absent then they are called eicosan so this were about prostaglandin and biosynthesis of prostaglandin thank you for watching the video if you want to watch the part 1 of lipid i have given the link of that video in the description box thanks for watching the video